The foundation making a difference in people's lives. Will someone else making a difference or that could to is our current Miss Universe. Now last night the pageant went down. Miss Columbia came out on top and uh, last night's Miss Universe pageant, uh, our own Miss South Africa, Zipo Zake, she was representing. But here to talk about it is our very own Miss South Africa of 2011. Melinda Bam is still with us in the house. I must say pointing it out there, the top five were Jamaica, Colombia, Netherlands, Ukraine, and USA, and there they are. Melinda, were you surprised that our very own Zippo Zake Zokufa didn't make it to the top 10? Yes, I, I think I was surprised because I think in the short time that she had to prepare, I mean, she only had two weeks after Raleen's crowning to ready herself for Miss Universe and then she was off on a plane to Miami. I was surprised because I think in that, in that short space of time, she did exceptionally well. Um, and throughout, people really did take note of her. And um, I think she won Miss Congeniality, or not Miss Congeniality, Miss Personality amongst the girls, which I think is, is fantastic what for us as South Africans, because that's what we want to represent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what do you think of the top five? I mean, there they are also uh, Jamaica, Colombia, Netherlands, Ukraine, and USA. They're beautiful. Jamaica was definitely a favorite. I'm not surprised at all that Colombia won. I was quite surprised that Venezuela and Philippines didn't come in. Uh, but every year has its controversy, so this is just another year. I'm so glad you touched on that because pageants are full of, I guess, pageant politics mm -hmm. and controversy. The tension between the girls, it must be hectic. I mean, you come from a pageant background. Um, you know what? It's always the most interesting thing to interact with the girls because you can definitely you can definitely pick up the different cultures. The Latinas are extremely focused and they sometimes a little bit vicious or lethal out from it because they come armed with hairspray. But the other girls are really just there to have a good experience because you know the the powerhouse countries that are out for the title and the rest are really just there to to fill up the lineup i'm glad you're talking about the lineup because i want to talk about the crowns and the actual like diamonds and also the precious stones that the girls are awarded if we think of the crown of miss universe that was unveiled last night i mean a jeweler with diamonds international corporation they signed apparently a 10-year deal with miss universe to bring this crown mm. it's worth three million rand i think uh dollars maybe but i think um the crown reminds me of Trump Towers or like a, a frozen mixed with the Wizard of Oz, Emerald City, something. But it's beautiful. I prefer the, the Hope Crown. I think it was, it was absolutely... Is this the previous one? Yes, the, the previous crown was absolutely beautiful. But I think this one will, will grow on me. It is confirmed. It's three million rand. So a, a, a really a, worthy uh, uh, prize there to it. Miss World Crown, the current Miss World Crown was also unveiled in 1972. And apparently they didn't use it for seven years. Mm -hmm. And then it made a comeback. There it is. Oh, both of them blue, hey? Ah. I, th I see a trend coming along. You also mentioned to me earlier that there's a replica. Yes, they've got two different crowns. So they've got the actual one uh, that is with all the tanzanites and diamonds and, and precious stones. And then they've got the replica that she actually wears. So the replica has as much um, of value as the, the actual crown because just of the sentimental value because the girls actually wear that one. Well, talking about sentimental value here in South Africa, when we crowned our Miss South Africa last year, it was uh, the uh, Jack Friedman Julie and yes. Malcolm Cook, they collaborated to make um, Miss South Africa's crown. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm just looking at it. It was it was beautiful. I mean, it was beautiful. I what think was it, the name of it? It was Palesa. It means flower. Okay. And um, it had all of South Africa's mineral wealth combined in, in one creation. And I think it's quite unique because it really is something different. And, and coming from South Africa, you have to make something that resonates with our, with our heritage as well. And I think the Palesa crown really just speaks to that. Uh, I had a, I told Melinda earlier that uh, I announced the winner. I actually tried on the crown before. <laughs> you did too, though. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> so we both won the crown, but hey, our Miss Universe and also Zippo Zake Zokufa representing South Africa. Thank you, Melinda, Bab. Thank you, well, from one exercise to another, whether you're a pageant queen or whether you're the queen of exercise, his name is Graham. He's outside right now.